Yeah, welcome back. Oh, since the first time, you know, since the 19, the 1812 uh, Capitol Hill invasion, the Capitol Hill has been invaded again. And this time, not by warring countries, but by United States citizens and specifically supporters of U.S. President Donald Trump. Now, this forced a lockdown of, uh, you know, the U.S. Uh, lawmakers and staff inside the Capitol Hill. Four people were died. It was a mess. Joining us now to discuss Discuss this is Plus TV Africa senior uh, editor uh, Kayode Ladende. Good morning, sir. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Anita. Well, this looks just like something that would happen. No offense, in Africa. I mean, it was it was terrible. Would you say this is a shame, so to speak, uh, uh, on democracy I, and I, the U.S.? I like what you said because that's actually the the surprise. You know, jokingly, I said when those pastors told us that uh, it's going to be a year of surprise, uh, we never knew. It's this was what they meant. From <laughs> what they turned so early. The symbol of democracy in the mm. world. This is a country we, we like to revere. This is a country that we always make easy reference to when it comes to democracy, but that was quite shameful. You needed to watch the live clip when it was happening because I know that time you were arrested. You know? <laughs> it, I, I couldn't just fathom it. I couldn't just explain it. Journalists had to go into hiding to report without their pictures. You know, it was that bad. They had to be reporting voice of Vanetta Felix you know, right there at the Capitol, you know, four have been confirmed dead, you know, and quite a lot of terrible things are still happening. And the worst of it all is that the president did not pretend about it. The president even said these are great patriots who are trying to save democracy. You know, we haven't seen the last of this because the process of impeachment is going to be quite tedious because that should be the conversation now we've seen former republican president the like of judge i mean w butch you know condemning it that this is appalling we've seen definitely obama has always been at the loggerheads with trump but this is quite shameful you know i understand the import of that ceremony the import of that ceremony is that by the time the vice president india climb who is like the Senate president. They don't have the Senate president like we have here. He, by the time he certifies that election, game over. You know, you remember the game over we were waiting for for the Electoral College to happen. That happened. This man still never conceded defeat. You know, it threw up a whole lot of shame and a lot of dirty things that we never knew about America. Mm. It has even come up with the issue of racism that uh, if they were blacks, you know, if they were not white supremacists, maybe the death would have been more. Let me, let me add, uh, share this. Uh, uh, former Governor Van Ambrose Sipi um tweeted, recent hap happenings in the U USA will make us see what bad leadership can do. Good leadership is all about being good, consistent, and exemplary in character, behavior, humility, integrity, capacity, competence, and discipline. It's about sacrificing self for all, accepting criticism and other opinions. Let us resolve to build a better Nigeria for all. Uh, so I want, I want to get, get your thoughts on, um, I've also seen people tweet that no matter how great a nation is, once you put, you know, a bad person on top of it, you know, everything can crumble um, if you don't have, you know, strong enough system. So let's talk about that aspect and, of course, also very, related very, to, to, very, the, to very the, the Nigerian, Nigerian um, um, factor also. Very, very important issue. The fact that uh, we've always been talking about strong system, strong system, and a very good excuse, and I still insist that a very good reason or a very good example is still America. Because um, irrespective of the fact that it's the government of the day, the police were still able to do their job. You know, it's to talk about the strong system, irrespective of, oh, this is the government of the day, uh, Mike Pompeo had to also condemn the action. Irrespective that it's still the government of the day, across party lines, they were able to condemn it. However, it also means that we need a two. We need strong leadership, we need strong system. Because what has happened is that it has cost America a whole lot of shame that will be a reference point for a long time. Indeed. And like he said, this is not a protest, we're quoting Biden now. This is insurrection. So I think coming to Nigeria, I know politicians will always want to take advantage of any happenings. And it also tells us that quite important that we need to plan the kind of leader we elect. Mm -hmm. We cannot overlook the fact that we need a strong leader. But I believe strongly that the strong system is better 
It can run on autopilot. Strong institution. True. Strong True. institution is better. And that gives us a leverage over everything. But mm. call it what it is, I don't know whether Trump will still be there before January 20. Mm. Now, okay, this whole thing circles back to the US elections of November 3rd. Trump has refused to accept defeat. He was defeated uh, by uh, Joe Biden, but he insists that there's been electoral fraud, counted votes, but there's been no evidence of, of every, any of that. And the FBI and, in fact, the, the world in general can see glaringly that this invasion of the Capitol Hill was because of Trump's stance that he did not lose the election. Hmm. Why do you think Trump is having a difficult time accepting defeat? In one minute, please. Okay. Um, it's shameful. He never expected it. He downplayed his uh, opponent during the election. He thought it was a joke. He thought it's going to be like Obama who had two terms. It's going to be like uh, Clinton who had two terms. But he never knew that. Uh, good, it has happened in the past. You remember the issue of Bush too. But it also sends a strong signal that your performance counts. The kind of utterances you make counts. And quickly before we go, one important in information is that something happened a few days ago, the runoff election in Georgia, yeah. where the senator lost to... Uh, uh, um, a to Democrat. a Democrat, that it also hit him hard to say that I think these Democrats are having a, 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 a clean thing. one. And to also know that Pelosi also emerged as a speaker, despite the fact that Democrats still have the minority, that just shows that he has caused the party a whole lot of shame. So he didn't just want to go down just like that. So Without it's a, a lot of ego. And the senator who lost had to say that because of this shame, it's not even contesting the outcome of the runoff again. Please let the Democrat senator be, you know, sworn in, mm -hmm. and let me forget. I wish this. we had time to, you know, go all the way with this, but unfortunately, we don't. Thank you very much, Mr. Kaiyodi Ladende, Thank you. for uh, stepping in for speaking with us. That's all the time we have for you this morning on the breakfast. It's been a very, very interesting uh, two hours of conversations and, of course, uh, you know, I I interviews here and there. Um, if you missed out on any of this, you join us late. You can catch up on social media at. Uh, Plus TV Africa on um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the same with our YouTube channel. Indeed, and the weekend for me begins on a Thursday, I like to think. So, happy weekend in advance. Thank you very much for watching.